Hey guys, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to solve an exact differential equation. So you guys might be wondering, how do we know when a differential equation is exact? So we start off with the differential form, so that's what we see here, and it is exact when the following condition is met. So we have the partial derivative of m with respect to y, and that has to be equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this first example here, we have 2x minus 1 dx plus 3y plus 7 dy is equal to 0. And as our first step, we're going to go ahead and want to identify what m and n are equal to. So here we have m, and here we have n. And then we're going to go ahead and want to take our partial derivatives so that we can determine whether or not our differential equation is exact. So first we'll start off by taking the partial derivative of m respect to y, and so that gives us 0. And then we'll take the partial derivative of n with respect to x, and that also gives us 0. So our differential equation is exact. And because our differential equation is exact, there exists a function f of x, y such that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to m, which is 2x minus 1, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to n, which is 3y plus 7. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is integrate this and solve for f. And integrating both sides, we get f of xy is equal to 2x squared over 2 minus x plus g of y. And then from here, these twos cancel out, and this ends up being f of x, y is equal to x squared minus x plus g of y. And so now we're going to want to take the partial derivative of f with respect to y. So we get g prime of y, and from here, we're going to want to set this equal to this. So we get g prime of y is equal to 3y plus 7. And then now we want to go ahead and integrate both sides. So on the left hand side we'll get g of y and on the right hand side we get 3y squared over 2 plus 7y. So now we know what g of y is equal to, and we can go ahead and plug this in to here. And so we get f of xy is equal to x squared minus x plus 3 halves y squared plus 7y. And so that is our solution, but if we want to write our solution in implicit form, we can go ahead and write this as x squared minus x plus 3 halves y squared plus 7y is equal to c, some constant. And so that is our answer. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So in this next example here, we have 5x plus 4y dx plus 4x minus 8y cubed dy is equal to 0. So as a first step, let's go ahead and label what m and n are equal to. So we have m equal to 5x plus 4y, and here we have n, so n is equal to 4x minus 8y cubed. So now let's go ahead and determine whether or not our differential equation is exact. And so we're going to do this by taking our partial derivatives. So first let's take the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So we get 4, and then let's go ahead and take the partial derivative of n with respect to x. 
So that gives us 4 as well. So now we know that we have an exact differential equation. And because our differential equation is exact, this means that there exists a function f of x, y, such that the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to m, which is 5x plus 4y, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to n, which is 4x minus 8y cubed. So from here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this equation first. And so we're going to go ahead and solve for what f is equal to. So we're going to go ahead and multiply both sides by dx to get this onto the other side. So we get this. And then so now we're going to want to integrate both sides. So we get f of x, y is equal to 5x squared over 2 plus 4xy plus g of y. Okay, and then now we want to take the partial derivative of f of x, y with respect to y so we can set what we get equal to this. So let's do that. So partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to 4x plus g prime of y. So let's set this equal to this. So these four x's on both sides, they cancel out, and we are left with g prime of y is equal to negative 8y to the third power. So from here, we're going to go ahead and want to integrate both sides and determine what g of y is equal to. So we get g of y is equal to negative 8y to the fourth over 4. And we can simplify that and it just becomes negative 2y to the fourth. Okay, so now that we know what g of y is equal to, we can go ahead and plug this in to our equation for f of xy. And so we get f of x, y is equal to 5 halves x squared plus 4xy minus 2y to the fourth. Or we can also write this in implicit form, and we can just set this whole entire thing equal to a constant c. And so that is our final answer. And so that is how you solve an exact differential equation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.